I think that's kind of a, a little bit of a myth about the way careers unfold. Everyone kind of thinks that there's this sort of linear path that you have to follow. Um, and I think the reality is that it, it tends to be kind of, you know, jagged and up and down and fits and starts. And uh, so you kind of, with a little bit of experience, realize that, you know, you're not, you're not always going to end up exactly where you thought you were going to end up. And, and oftentimes that's for the better. Generally, I think people overvalue experience. Um, I mean, what I generally look for are, are, you know, I have a couple of employees now, and the people that, are, that both of them didn't really have any real experience in policy work or politics or anything like that. Um, but they had some career experiences that were useful um, and that were kind of, I think, easily applicable. And, um, and they kind of have that zeal and are excited in what we're doing. And, and to me, that's almost more valuable. And I, you know, I kind of care more about the, the raw talent and the enthusiasm more than I do whether or not they have the exact you know, resume. I kind of came to that, that realization that I really need to be in a field that, is, that I'm very passionate about, otherwise I'm not really going to be, you know, living up to my own expectations. Um, and that's something that, you know, I wouldn't have necessarily realized when I was coming, first coming out of college. And so, um, so I think I mean, my advice is to generally, it's a, you know, the Joseph Campbell line, follow your bliss. Um, and to me, it's just sort of figure out what you like to do. Don't really concern yourself with what other people think you should be doing or, um, or what the expectations are. And, and that, that, that served me well, and I, I think that would probably serve most people well.